All right, so this is a pretty common problem in .NET Mali that you have probably run into. So in this demo application, I have a view model here and I really just wanna load some data. So I have a command to load some data and I call that command from the constructor so that we get the data right when we land on this page. So let's see that in action. Let me put a breakpoint here and we will run this. And as you can see, we land on this page. So we're gonna load the data and get the data and show it on the UI. So that's great, that all works as expected. But if we go to create some data, let's just throw in some test data here and create it, we go back to this page. So we went back to this list routines view model, but we didn't reload the data. And that's essentially the problem here. There's no way to hook into the view model lifecycle in .NET MAUI applications. So we went back to this list routines view model, but there's nothing we could do to reload this data out of the box. And this goes for if we registered this view model as transient in dependency injection, which traditionally would mean we would get a new view model instance, but that is not the case. In .NET Mali, the app shell will hook onto or hold onto a single view model instance and not recreate it. So there's really nothing you can do inside of this constructor to reload data as we see. So again, it would be nice if there was some kind of built-in view model lifecycle behavior, but alternatively, we can remove this and we can move down to the view that this view model is for. So that's the list routines view. And we can hop into the code behind and we can tap into, so we can override on appearing. So this lifecycle method on the view will get called accordingly and we can see that in action so we load up the application we hit our breakpoint because we're on the list routines page and then if we leave this page and go back boom once again we hit on appearing so as you can imagine we can tap into this in order to load the data that we need whenever we come back to the page so there's probably a few ways that we could do this but really the mvvm way to do this will be to define a bindable property something called the on appearing command property, which is going to be a type of I command on our list routines view with a default value of null. And then of course we can execute this command whenever on appearing fires. So we do have to do a little null check here in case it's not set. Just pass in null as the parameter. And then we essentially need to bind this on appearing command to the command on our view model. So in that case, it's the load routines command, which this relay command attribute, part of the MVVM toolkit is turning this function into the load routines command. So that being said, we can bind to it in our view. All the way at the top on the content page, we should even get IntelliSense here. We should be able to set an on appearing command. There we go. And we're gonna bind that to, again, our load routines command. So application boots up, we're on the list routines page. It is appearing. So we're gonna execute this on appearing command, which we can see is binding to something. And that something is our load routines command. So we load the data, sweet. But that's nothing new. We were already loading data when our application started. But now if we go to a different page, and then if we add another routine here and create it and go back to the list routines page, here we go on appearing fires again, and we reload our data and we get the fresh data. So this is a really easy approach to manage your view or view model lifecycle. And keep in mind, I only showed off how to do this for on appearing and doing things when view models get activated, but you can also do this for view model deactivation and perhaps cleaning up resources. So for example, I actually have one in this application over in the routine detail view. Same kind of thing, but the inverse for on disappearing this time so we have this on disappearing override where we call an on disappearing command. And in that case, if we look at the view, what that's gonna do is call a dispose routine command. So in this case, we're cleaning up resources and that command disposes this underlying resource. So keep this approach in mind and hopefully you can leverage this in your own application to seamlessly load data or perhaps clean up resources.